After weeks of bets and all the hype building up, the big day is finally here. Samsung has officially started rolling out the stable versions of One UI 8.0, and trust me, this update is huge. I already installed a stable build on my Galaxy S25 Ultra and I've been digging through every corner of it. If you're coming from One UI 7, get ready for a massive download. My update was over 4 gigabytes, and it doesn't just bring features. It also includes a September 2025 security patch, which is a pretty critical one because it fixes a major vulnerability that was recently discovered. So here's the plan. In this video, we're going on the ultimate deep dive. We are not just looking at Samsung's change log. We are going to see how this feels in the real world. The performance, the new design language, the hidden gems, the AI features, and the pro level tools. Everything that makes One UI 8 one of the biggest updates Samsung has ever shipped. Now, before you get excited and start swiping around, here's a pro tip. After your phone restarts, go straight into the Galaxy Store. Open the Updates section and you're probably going to see a whole list of apps waiting for you. Calendar, Samsung Keyboard, Notes and a bunch more. All of them need to be updated so they play nicely with One UI 8. On my device, I even had this massive 2GB update for something called the Samsung Vision Module. So definitely don't skip that step. Once you're done with that, there's one more piece of housekeeping. Go to Settings, then Security and Privacy and check for Google Play Systems Update. This is separate from the main OS and it's what keeps your Google services secure. Okay, now with all that out of the way, let's talk about how it actually feels. And honestly, the OS is super fluid. The animations when you're opening apps, pulling down the quick panel or swiping through the recents. They all feel more responsive and buffery smooth. You can tell Samsung has done some serious under the hood optimizations here. One of the first things you notice right away is the refreshed design language. One UI 8 has this gorgeous frosted glass look and you see it as soon as you use the new sharing menu. Instead of being a full screen takeover, it now appears as a clean little floating window with this nice rounded corners. And it's not just looks, it's smarter too. You've now got tabs for personal and secure folders. So you can directly share into a secure app with a single tap. Quick Share has also been revamped. It's been reorganized into send and receive tabs and the receive page looks fantastic. Next up, lock screen. This is the very first thing you see when you pick up your phone and Samsung has completely reimagined it. The widgets look slightly bigger and bolder and even the now bar, you know, the one for things like stock prices, looks brighter and easier to read. When you head into customization, you'll still find the classic clock styles, but now there's a third option with this slick animation. But the real highlight is the new adaptive clock. This thing is clever. It uses a new, stylish font and actually analyzes your wallpaper to figure out where to place itself. If there's a face in the photo, it automatically resizes and shifts so it doesn't block it. It blends into the wallpaper in such a natural way, it feels like it's part of the photo. Samsung has also added more wallpaper categories. There's a new set of dynamic wallpapers that change throughout the day and each one can be customized with four different blend of modes so you can really fine tune the look and of course you still have full control over your privacy here you can choose to show all notifications hide them or just show the icons when your phone is locked now let's get into the big one ai samsung made it clear that ai is at the heart of one ui 8. it starts with a side button a long press doesn't just pull up a simplest instant anymore. It now summons Gemini, your on-screen co-pilot that actually understands what you're doing in the moment. And for video, so Samsung has added audio eraser. 
sound. Think of it like oh. magic eraser, but for sound. Mm. If your clip has background noise, like yeah. window traffic, it removes it so your audio comes out clean. Samsung's always been the multitasking champ, but they've found ways to make it even better. In split screen, you can now push one of the apps almost completely off the display, leaving just a little handle at the edge, so you can focus on one app or instantly bring the other one back when you need it. Pop-up view windows have been redesigned too. They now have soft around the corners and instead of the menu button being in the corner, it's been moved to the center of the top bar, which makes it easier to reach. The animations for moving and resizing these windows feel a lot smoother too. Let's talk apps. The calculator finally adds a feature people have been asking for forever. You can now use a full scientific calculator in portrait mode. No need to rotate your phone anymore. The My Files app has a new cleaner layout and a brilliant new filter that lets you sort recent downloads by the app that downloaded them. Makes it way easier to find what you're looking for. The Reminder app has been totally redesigned with a much more modern look. And Calendar now integrates reminders better. When you add something, you see separate tabs for events and reminders. Funny enough though, Calendar still has an old hamburger menu so it's not fully consistent with the new design yet. And Samsung's ecosystem is becoming more seamless. If you've got recent Galaxy boards, the settings for them now show up right at the top of your main setting page when they're connected. No more digging into the wearable app. So that's it. One UI 8 in all its detail. From the massive visual refresh and the smarter AI tools, to the hidden pro features and the security upgrades, this is easily one of Samsung's most substantial updates in years. Performance feels better than ever, and the whole experience comes together in a really cohesive way. But that's my experience. I want to hear from you. What's the one feature in One UI 8 that you think would change the way you use your phone? Drop your answer in the comments below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And of course, Subscribe to Tech Mansion for more deep dives like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.